You know what I think? No, but you're going to tell me. I think that anybody that has a religious belief is intellectually flawed. I don't believe you. <laughs> when you think about it, though, religion is either inherited or conveniently adopted due to a feeling of spiritual emptiness that could be filled simply by accepting that we are nothing more than mutated apes that take ourselves far too seriously. Oh, well, that should catch on, then. But no, millions of people choose instead to believe that some gigantic, all-powerful god that they fear that was derived from discovered scriptures hundreds of thousands of years old that have been translated through several languages by people who wanted to believe they were true. You mean like the Bible? Yes. So the Bible isn't true? No. Oh. It's a complete work of fiction that has bizarrely become some sort of handbook to humanity. As a result, some of the most powerful men on this planet believe in it and that a God exists. Wankers. Well, they can't all be wrong. Yes, they are. Gods do not exist. It doesn't make sense. Gods are just a convenient icon to explain our existence. And once someone puts God in their head, they remove total responsibility for themselves and how they behave. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Not really. OK, let me put it another way. Imagine this. Suddenly the whole world gets hit by an inter intergalactic Akarema virus. Similar but more powerful to the one that hit the Earth 5,000 years ago and inflicted brain damage on the native apes and turned them into humans. I didn't know about that. We well, do now. 99% hmm. of humans die a swift death. Just 1% of people survive, and one of them is J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling? Yes. Fearing she might die herself, she gathers together all of her manuscripts of the Harry Potter series and buries them. Why? Because someone might nick them and infringe her copyright. Oh. Anyway, hear me out. This is interesting. So thousands of years later, humans have re-established themselves, and one day some bloke digs up the manuscripts. Why a bloke? It could be a woman. It doesn't matter. Besides, a woman would probably think they're rubbish and throw it away. Men think rubbish is interesting. Anyway, of course, by this time, new languages have evolved, totally unrecognisable from the ones we speak now. What do you mean, like how footballers talk? Well, yeah, kind of. Anyway, so this bloke, who finds the manuscripts, thinks that they're something special, so he sets about trying to work out what they all mean. He translates them based on total supposition. And hey, presto, before you know what's what, the whole world thinks that Harry Potter is a great saviour and J.K. Rowling, who created him, is God. Do you see what I mean? Oh, right. Yeah, that's great. Crap films that what? I know. Harry Potter, I saw the first one and thought, hmm, so what? Then everyone told me you've got to read the book to enjoy the movie. I thought the whole point of movies is you didn't have to re bother reading the book. You're really quite amazing, aren't you? Yeah, thanks, yeah. So you understand my J.K. Rowling God analogy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you read any Harry Potter books? No. And I don't do Sudoku bloody puzzles either. It's all just chewing gum as far as I'm concerned. Sudoku? Oh, the Japanese number game thing. Do you know what Sudoku means in English? No. It means you are wasting your life, my friend.